I was a Bass Pro Shop picking up some tubes. I got this uh, braid that they sell right there. It's a Bass Pro Shop uh, brand. Um, I'm really not a, a brand specific for person. And I tell you, this is a Hyper Braid 8. Um, so clearly it's eight strands woven together. So I'm gonna spool this up, go out there, probably land one or two fish. And then I'll tell you guys if it's any good. It's already feeling like a little bit stiff. I'm hoping that once it gets wet, it gets broken in. I didn't like when I spooled it up. It left a bunch of yellow all over the ring, the guy ring. This is what I was talking about. I'm not gonna like this braid. This is a Bass Pro. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys on blast if this braid comes off. You see the color, the yellow color is co coming off like in the film in my roller guide. That's not what I want to see on my reels because of my my line letting off its color. So probably it said something like enhanced color retention technology. Striper. There it goes. Not too happy about the braid. Turns out that the braid, I could, it just got into my roller bearing and the way it's acting now, it's really annoying me. Fish on. Fish on. Looks like a good one. Oh, look at guys. I have one with a largemouth chasing it. with a large mouth chasing it. Large mouth was chasing this guy. See if the large mouth takes him. See a large mouth is right behind him. Large mouth is trying to get him. Wow guys the large mouth is chasing my 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 striper that I just caught. Pretty cool. A large mob was chasing this guy. He was on him. I was I was right that there was no fish around here because it's gotta be big fish and that large mob was like a six guys. I think oh man that's an adrenaline pump. My right. guys I'm shaking right now. Seeing that was cool. I right. hit the jerk bait. Boom, I got tagged and I see him flip out of the water, like jump out. So I'm thinking, is it a small bass? And right when I was thinking that, I'm bringing it in, I see it's a, a striper. He's jumping and jumping and I'm like, I've never seen a striper jump out the water like that. And I see right behind him, a large mouth trying to engulf him. That large mouth would have got on my rattle trap, or I mean my jerk bait was on, this, on the back of him. It would have, it would have got the large mouth as well. Man, and I let it roam around right there in the water <laughs> and he kept jumping and jumping and trying to get away from that large mouth and the large mouth was chasing him going in circles i finally felt bad for him and said you know what he's on the hook he can't even defend himself let me just get this guy off which in that case guys we're gonna bring out the, the baby striper the baby glide guys
Oh, good shot, guys. That feels like a large mouth. I don't know. Striper. Baby striper on the striper. There he goes. <laughs> that was cool. He hit it shallow, guys. Fish on, guys. Give it that pause. A little break. That's this little guy. Here it goes, guys. Little kid. You don't want him. We spooled up with this. Um, performance wise, not too happy of it. For this is about $30, $40 for this little 300 yards. The paint, when it's pulled up, I should have took a picture of it. It's my fault, guys. But I usually go for my spinning reel to the first line guide and then to the box. Well, that first line guide was getting so much residue of yellow residue that I had to like rub it off with like soap and water for it to come off. Then I get on the water and um, I guess I try to put a screenshot. Uh, I showed you guys in the water. But I got that paint all over my uh, roller bearing and that ended up when I got home I noticed that by the time I got home my roller bearing was feeling real gritty some of the paint came off on the roller bearing and got in between the roller bearing since anything that gets in there it starts making it feel gritty so I took it apart sure enough there's little specks of paint inside I cleaned it all off lubed it up serviced my reel it's fine but I shouldn't have to service my reel right after using new braid because tons of paint came off of it so I'm not happy with that